Now we're going to go ahead and start in the basement of this new Garden City house. Got this wood paneling that then leans into the ceiling. Seems to be in good shape, but it's dated. My thought is that we just paint this. Got glass block windows, it's good. But you got this nice partition over here. Cool little bar area. I think we would paint that out, dress it up. This. Got a couple spots where the floor, these are the smaller tiles. One, two, three. Uh, that is not four, that's not. And then, looks like that's what we're dealing with there. Uh, then, heads on in here. I think a good cleaning will go a long way. Furnace. Listen, it's either going to work or it doesn't. But that thing's got to be close to 40 years old. Plumbing will need to be done. So new plumbing. Walls are good. They look good. Got breaker panels. Got grounded wire. Small crack here. That's really nothing to worry about. You have a half bath, good size half bath right down here. No lights, but you can see what I'm talking about. A bar area. This is, we can make that into something because everything's in decent shape. You've got plenty of storage back here. These are they'll close up. This does not, but it's fine. You got this area down here. So, I mean, this is this is quite the entertaining area. Plus, you got lights. We could turn this into something. Washington Wizards. I'm not sure if that's Michael Jordan's signature. I don't think it is, based off what I've looked at, but whatever. Let's head on up. I think we can save this door. Decent enough. Looks like it's, uh, that'd be good. We can save that. Maybe we save, maybe we update that exterior door, but again, the ceiling, all decent shape. We're going to, a coat of paint is going to go a long way here. One of the things I want to look at and consider is this. So we got this kitchen area that is very, very choppy. At the very least, we punch a hole right through there. That way we can get access to the living room. Another thing we could do is take this beam here, this wall, or that support, knock this wall out right at that seam, keep this support here, knock this out, and depending, I mean, you're going to expose the stove, but if you knocked out this wall as well, this is not going to be load bearing. This is going to be the load bearing wall right here. So you have a support here. You're leaving that header and you have that support there. This is just a knock through and, or this is just a knock, a knock through. Uh, and uh, it's going to really open it up. Plus you've got the view of the backyard, which is a whole bunch of landscape work that we got to do back there. I mean, that's something. Um, and then you work around something with maybe a new countertop, open space, get rid of these cabinets and figure out a way to kind of keep this as a bit of a, an island area while this is open. So that's really going to provide a bit of an island area and um, it would be a spot that we can hang out as a family, right? Plus you got this. This is this is weird. We gotta maybe consider taking this little transition out. I don't know what's behind there. But here's the rest of the kitchen. A 
Windows are good. I mean, they're older, but they're all decent. You got this pergola out here that as, after further inspection, it probably needs to come out along with some of those, all those trees back there. I don't want to get rid of all the shade, but uh, we do have a vent for exterior for an exhaust fan. And then again, small soffits, we can leave those, I think. Plumbing is galvanized as mentioned, but I think we got something to work with here. Um, we do have hardwood floors. So here's a shot of the front room. Again, this window is uh, decent enough. Give it a good cleaning. This is your spot. It's a nice, nice neighborhood. But again, a coat of paint is going to go a long way, especially if we knock out that portion and open that up. We're going to be able to see in the kitchen. It's going to be a, a much, much better flow. This door, I expect, we could probably save as well. But one of the um, one of the things you may want to consider is putting a new door in and um, bringing a little bit more light into this house. Hardwood doesn't show here, but we can go into the bedrooms and see that. But I believe that's the door for this here. And who knows, maybe we could even, I don't know, somehow open this up. House does have a whole house attic fan. And then you've got the standard three bedroom approach here. So I guess my, my thought is that we, man, I guess we're not opening that or closing it rather. Move it up. I think we save these, save the doors, paint them. Call it a day. Replace your light switches. New blinds. Hardwood floors underneath. Get those refinished. I think we leave these doors. Get them painted. As unpopular as that can be. There's a little linen closet here. There's a shot of your hardwood. And then the bathroom. It's very possible we're gonna be able to just go right over this floor. Got a good threshold. Uh, this stuff is most likely gonna to have to come out. It does run through the whole bathroom, you can see. runs up the wall, but we do have a bit of a, that's, that's soft. That's soft, but that is a cast iron tub. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that yet, but the, uh, the curtain, so to speak, is gonna go. And that, look at that. Let's get a little bit of lighting on this one. Antique, classic oak toilet tank, beautiful. Got your laundry chute. Let me peel some of that off. All in all, this should be should be quick. Bedrooms. Again, clean them out, clean them up. Windows are good. Here's a shot out of this. In the backyard. We definitely got to clean that up. So I'm thinking we leave the louvered doors. Give them a good old painting. Doors are in decent shape. Leave them. Give them a paint. Leave them. For the price point that we're going to be competing at, I think we can get away with that. Then you got this stuff here. Another set of bifold doors. There 
There's a shot. That's a discount if I've ever seen one right there. Within 500 feet of a fire hydrant. Let's take a tour of the outside. Concrete's in decent shape. Roof, they say it's about 15 years old, even though it's that reddish shingles. Uh, we've got garage door. A little bit of siding in the back there. If you, if you can see, that's uh, gonna need to be replaced. This is actually an interesting little sliding door, sliding barn door, I think we keep that. It's all aluminum siding. Maybe update lighting on the exterior here, but that garage door, yeah, maybe it goes, probably, probably goes. Here's a shot of the exterior in the back. I'm estimating we got about $2,000 worth of landscape cleanup in the back here. Get rid of some of this stuff. That tree's got to go. I'm not sure exactly how. Yeah, have to chop it up. This will have to be attached. And this has got to get attached because when they did some brickwork back here. They didn't attach those. But all the brickwork, it all seems like we're in decent enough shape, so we just need a good cleanup back here. I'll come out with the chainsaw, start chipping up some of this stuff. I mean, this is a garage, it's a big garage. This tree probably just needs to come out. And we got a lot of cleanup to do in the back here. Okay, good sun in the backyard. Maybe we have a garden back here or something. That's what we got. Let's get out to the front. I'll wrap this up. Again, concrete's all in decent shape from what I can see. I haven't moved any of these leaves. I do have one piece of raised concrete over here that may be a bit of a concern. There's a shot of the side of the house. Get up there and paint that white. Again, glass block windows, a little bit of tuck pointing here. Concrete's all in decent shape should be fine. It's a shot of the neighborhood. That's where we end up.